Hello and welcome. All right, so this is part number two of chapter number 11, Air and Water. In part number one, we covered three topics related to the water section of this chapter, and these were the properties and structure of water, testing the presence of water, and the treatment of water supply. In this tutorial, we will be covering the last two topics related to the water section. And these are the domestic and industrial uses of water and the implications of inadequate supply of water. So let's get started. All right, uses of water. When it comes to the domestic uses of water, they're used for drinking. Water is used for drinking, cooking, washing, and watering. When it comes to the industrial uses of water, water is used as a coolant to drive the turbines. It's also used in most industries like paper industry and fertilizers industry. That was pretty easy. Next, what are the implications of inadequate supply of water? The first implication is drought. And this is due to the below average supply of water over a prolonged period. The second implication of the inadequate supply of water is crop failure. No enough water, therefore farmers can't irrigate crops and hence the crops die. The third implication of the inadequate supply of water is livestock death. If the livestock don't have enough water to drink, they will begin to die. The fourth implication and the final implication of the uh, shortage of the uh, of the shortage in supply of water is famine. If the crops are failing and the livestock are dying, then people will become undernourished and hence will suffer from famine. Uh, these were pretty easy uh, two topics to cover. And these were the implications of inadequate supply of water and the uses of water. Um, as I always say, if you have any questions, uh, kindly uh, post them in the comment section below. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.